everyone, welcome to AirVenture 2016 in beautiful Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Now I'm up here with my friends from Lincoln Electric teaching TIG welding to literally hundreds of people from almost every country in the world. Now Lincoln brings out tons of equipment to put on display. Here's the brand new Square Wave TIG 200 I did the video on. Be sure to check that out. See that 275? You could build an aircraft carrier with that thing. My good friend, Charlie LaRich. Hey, hey. What's up, Jimmy? How we doing, buddy? Doing great, Charlie. Thanks for asking. I've got that 350 MP here in the shop. I love that thing. Just got this Aspect 375 in the shop. Be sure to watch for an upcoming video on the unboxing and testing of that machine. This is the world's largest air show. The campground has between 40 and 50,000 people staying in it. And attendance for the week is expected to be around a million people. And there are literally thousands and thousands of airplanes for miles. Now I didn't get the opportunity this year to fly with the Aeroshell acrobatic team. That opportunity went to one of our welding engineers. But I asked her to take my GoPro and film some footage for me. When I got to fly close formation acrobatics with them, my lunch happily stayed right where it was supposed to, doing backflips in the bottom of my stomach. Now this is one of my all-time favorite Warbird aircraft, the P-51 Mustang. Oh, how nice of them to name this one after me. Now I've had the distinct privilege to be able to work on some of these pieces of amazing aviation history. Here's the ink canal exhaust. See it's cracked right there, right there, and right there. Due to, it's due to vibration, primarily, from the engines. And so they brought it to us, to Lincoln, and we've, uh, we've been able to weld it up for them. I think that one right there is my weld. If you ever want to buy a North American T6 that's uh, been slightly impacted and ready for a rebuild, you can just come to uh, Oshkosh and, and buy one. Yeah, everyone keeps saying I need more pretty girls in the videos. So, here you go. So we're just going to check out some of the little tiny TIG welds that are on this chassis. See, they are just as tiny as they can be, but very pretty, very neat. And there's literally thousands on them, just one small aircraft chassis. So you can buy this airplane in a kit form. If you're so inclined, put the whole thing together and come out with an airplane that looks like that. There's a lot of really cool stuff here. Oh, if I had an unlimited budget, the cool things I could make out of this place. She's loaded for business. That's freaking awesome! It's a 1929 Traveler. Small wooden wing. Probably a 4130 Cromali aircraft chassis. So this would have all been oxy fuel welded with an oxy fuel torch, oxygen acetylene. A very nice job. TIG welding didn't exist in 1929. I'm not sure how I really feel about being 10,000 feet in the air and flying in something that looks like it was put together with popsicle sticks, nails, and carpenter's glue. I think I'll stick to my TIG welding. makes it a little tough to see them. I'm over here on the landing strut. And all the landing struts are all TIG welded. Primarily everything in aviation is TIG welded. And if you want to buy this uh, package, it's a uh, show special, 28,000 for an airplane that doesn't fly yet. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed what you saw here today. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and like us on Facebook, please. Somewhere down below here is a link. See you soon.